At the Mink's new home, Dan is now following the rules and begins his first day as Rebecca's house honey. Good morning. Ready to awaken? Breakfast looks great. Sometimes in the evening I hear her. My queen starts calling my name. <laughs> so I take off my spurs and I throw away my hat and I put on some baggy old jeans. Now it's time for Dan to get started on his honey-do list and know what it's like to have someone else criticize him. Let's go. Yep. Don't kick the vacuum cleaner. That's it, Dan. Don't miss any spots. But this rule causes Dan to reflect on Rebecca's relationship with her own husband. From what Rebecca tells me, she doesn't do any of these chores. She makes her husband do them all, and at the same time, she has me doing them really to humiliate me. She even used a, a blow horn. Now, that's not fair. Life's not fair, Dan. I'll bet she doesn't think much of her husband. You know, it, it's, it's like he's in this constant state of humiliation. <laughs> Just checking your response time. Sorry. In Ohio, Kim takes the whole family to a ranch in a further attempt to build Warren's confidence and gain his kids' respect. So, Warren, what we're going to do is we're going to get you on horseback, and you are going to show this horse that you are gentle but firm. Let him know where you want to go so that that horse knows that it can respect you and it can take direction from you. And that's part of being the leader of your household. It's really important to be gentle but firm and lead the members of your household. Come on, babe. Come on. Keep yelling at him, Warren. Go on. Go. Good job. Get in there. Herding the cattle was adrenaline rush. I felt so powerful, and it just made me feel better about myself, more confident. It was really awesome to watch Dad. I thought he'd be really good. That was awesome. <laughs> In Nebraska, Dan proves that he's a man of his word and allows Cody to try out public school. I want to take a vote. What are we going to play for recess? Cody, what would you like to play? Dodgeball. All right. Probably the best thing about living in one place is I can make friends, and if we could live in one place and still do the shows, that would be great. Cody invites his new friends over to the house, and Rebecca has one final surprise in store. Go ahead and hop on the wheel, get settled, do whatever you gotta do. Yeah. <laughs> Man it up, Dan, get ready to go. Yeah! Go, Cody. <laughs> Grab your tomatoes, boys, hurry up. I'm coming after that kid, right there with the glasses. Uh, in talking to Rebecca, it's come to my attention that not giving the people around you choices may decrease their ability to ever do that. So I want Cody to voice his opinions about what, the, what his options should be, and I hope that will make him a more